to the Gungeon. We'll play Convict this time. I'm not doing another run through, just, I don't know, feel like it. Roll up. Roll, 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 rolling and rolling and rolling. I'm gonna create a pretty big backlog for this, probably, just because it's really interesting. I really want to play right now. So we start with the sawed off, the, uh, this, a picture that when we're t we take damage, uh, we get damage up. Uh, as well as a Molotov cocktail. Uh, beyond that, budget revolver, really low ammo, like the, uh, just because, uh, she starts with another weapon, she doesn't have that much ammo in her infinite ammo, like the ammo capacity isn't that good. Uh, 15 casing is pretty good from right now. Throw that Molotov cocktail out, just cause, uh, I think it's a good time to use it. And he teleports into the fire. Nice. Alright. So. Last one was a little disappointing. I fucked it. I started throwing. Not throwing, but I just started taking a lot of dumb damage that could have been avoided. Got a really good couple good guns there, too. Not really the smartest thing to sit so close to him. This does shoot pretty quick, so dispatching enemies with it isn't that bad, but... Still, the ammo capacity is to the desired. Nice. Ooh, all that nice ammo. Ghost can destroy a table by himself and still keep going. It's crazy. Man, I wish she could drop that AK because I would have really liked it. Uh, we'll open this case up for sure. Is that a sniper? Sniper rifle, scope creep. Law lower to fire piercing. Handcrafted by the rifle gun dead. Each sniper rifle performs slightly different though. The gungeon rarely offers many opportunities for distance shooting. This gun still rewards a steady, sh steady hand. Alright. This is probably gonna do like a fuck ton of damage since it's a sniper rifle. Let's test it out. Or not. Back here. <laughs> That's the boss. I'm guessing the shop will be down here somewhere. Hmm. It's piercing. It doesn't pierce. It kills two enemies. That's kind of bad. Uh, I don't know. And the shop. We have the unfinished gun. Ammo. Uh, we'll take the unfinished gun. Still warm. This gun is still in the process of being forged. It barely functions in its current state, but it could be a viable choice at a truly desperation. A small hourglass is imposed on the cylinder. Oh, maybe this is supposed to be the time gun. I assume if you hit them fairly close up, it'll light them on fire or something. And that's probably the benefit of this gun, even though it doesn't do much damage. Uh, Gatlingo. Oh, it pierces! damage that do <laughs> Oh, he's still shooting him.
Oh, fuck. Oh, he has a melee attack. Well, we lost a lot of health during that. We could have done that flawless, but I was really stupid. Nice. We still got a health upgrade, though, but I don't know. That could have been two health upgrades. Think about it. Think about it. Anyways, the unfinished gun. Not bad. I mean, it's definitely an okay choice. Better than the sawed off. I and mean, it pierces. That's pretty good. Oh, what the heck? Who are you? Greetings. What can I do for you? Who are you? Just a traveling tinker. Got stuck a while back. Thought I might fix up these elevators to kill some time. Fix. They seem to be working. The elevators only go down, uh, go down one floor at a time right now. But with the right equipment, I might be able to configure these tra to these to traverse multiple floors. I'm talking shortcuts here, lawbreaker. That's weird. How do we get them working? I'm not sure yet. I don't. Yeah, it won't be easy though. Whoever engineered this place was crazy. I'm gonna head back to the breach for now. Speak with me when you get a chance. I'll speak back in the bridge. Good luck. Ah. Hmm. Weird. Oh god. Piercing definitely a good thing. This much damage, not a good thing. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, I wanted to kick the fucking table. I'm so mad if I die here. I'll at least unlock something. So I guess it's not entirely purposeless, but still. I feel like these might do more damage closer up since they do turn a little black towards the end of the travel time. That guy really tries to protect your, your movements there. That's a little crazy. Should probably like try and hit the shots. Oh god. Three shots, that's pretty good. Like, it didn't seem to do much against the Gatling Gull since it's low, like, fire rate, but still. Oh, uh, one heart, this is bad. Oh, there's a key. Back for the key. I need it. Anyways, back we go. Don't want to fall down there. Uh, hopefully, we find some HP soon. One shot to them too. All right. No, oh, yeah, it's good for wave clearing, I guess. That's the boss. Oh god, damn it! Gotta find the shop soon, man. Die over here. Yes, health. Muncher doesn't want the gun. They're too empty. So oh, well.
No, this is running out of bullets. Fuck it. Here. Those guns were bad anyways. What? What is this? The 38 special is what I got last? No, wait, no, I got the... This is what I got... No. No. Well, 38 special isn't bad. Is it good? I don't know. It's got a high rate of fire, which is nice. Oh, this is gonna be a chest room. Just because of the layout. Uh, what's in here? What? Ruby bracelet. Throw a grenade. Explodes. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Any guns thrown while wearing this bracelet will explode! Alright, so I'm guessing when you run out of ammo with a weapon, you can throw it. I don't know how. Unless there's a button for it. I don't know. Well, we'll go this way. Hopefully, find the shop, buy some health. That way. I'm on one HP, man. This is feeling bad. I should use the Molotov cocktail in this room. Ugh. Shotgun cola. Speed up. Armor. All right. Thank you. No. Oh! How do we get over there? Oh, that's the... Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Oh, the gore gun. Oh, no. Oh, it doesn't even work in here. Nice. What? What? Okay then. Well, mistakes were made there. Uh, we found some cool things. This is pretty cool. Uh, beyond that, uh, thanks for watching once again. Uh, wait, what, how, much, how long is this video? Oh, only 14. Hmm, we'll do another one actually, since it's such a short uh, run. Uh, we'll go with uh, the pilot, since he has more ammo for things. And, oh hey, there's the guy. Uh, we'll, we'll do some stuff in the breach. Oh, you again. Good. Looks like some of the elevators connect to this room, so I'll be set up in there. I, I'll need to do work on each floor to get them working, though. Meet me in the elevator shaft in chamber two. Peace. Thank you. So I guess that, that means you wait for the bolt to drop down, then you go meet him there. 
He, he reminds me of someone from like Paper Mario, like Thousand Year Door status. Rocket power bullets, hot lead, heart locket, RPG, the flash ray, hegemony carbine is something I want. Hot lead, heart locket, rock power bullets, RPG, flash ray. Alright, we can't get anything, but that's fine. Alright, well, down we go. Generating. Die, you grenade. Moving on. Man, that sucked. I was having good hopes for that run, but I always fuck it up somewhere. Kill the bug first, kill the bug first. Oh my god, of course a fucking, like, grenade spawns on my face. Oh, there's a shopkeeper. Right away. Well, let's see. The ammo converter is probably a good thing to get. I don't know. We might need the key though. Oh no, we're the rogue. We don't really need the key. While I feel like keys are valuable, like really valuable still as the rogue, they're less valuable since you could probably maybe open up one. Uh, like it's a 50-50 to open up a chest for free. Like here, I'm gonna use a key, but uh, that's because I wanna guarantee. Void Marshall acquired under the table. Uh, hegemony carbine is shooting shootout. Uh, compact, but highly accurate. The Void Marshal is a favorite for smugglers and rogues across the galaxy. I'm a pilot, so uh, I guess I could be smuggling things. Kind of look like, uh, um, what's his face from uh, the, the, the Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh, chest. Grappling hook. What is that? Oh, it's an active item. A quick hit to get around to bring an item to you can briefly stun some enemies. Oh, so it's a Zelda thing. That's cool. It's got a quick reload time. Or er, charge up time. I wasn't expecting it to do that. Away! That's amazing. That makes traversing so much even faster than it already is. I should probably save it for that. Though, this guy is an exception. Come get me! Nope! The stun's also very useful. I wonder if it can stun bosses. I don't think it would, but it'd be really cool. You don't have to stop to use that. That makes it even better. Wow. Really good item. Nope. I hate this room. Like, that room is actually awful. Uh, we'll pull out the trusty lockpicks, just because there's a chest up here. Damn it! Sucks, but, uh, so, might as well destroy it, right? Yeah, junk. Next time, use the key. Well, it was worth a shot. Oh, you still got plenty of ammo on that. We didn't use that much. Oh, you can stop enemies when you're reloading, too. That's really good. Oh. Mm. Come back to the shop really quick. How much does this cost? 30. I'll take it. Alright, let's go. Let's go! Oh. It 
hits them, but I don't know if it... By the way, Vort Marshall does a ton of damage. And it's so accurate, too. It's so fast now. This weapon's amazing. We did it perfectly. Shield of the Maiden unlocked. What is that? So, uh, master of the first, uh, master round, first chamber. That gives us a health upgrade. And the Verd of Break 47. Okay, I'm guessing it's some sort of ripoff of the AK 47. Just guessing. Uh, Shield of the Maiden has joined the shootout. An abomination, this dark weapon is assembled from Fallen Adventure's spying column and an AK 47 frame. When Nugian the first exiled from his homeland, he was heartbroken in his pain. He turned to the Gungeon. And uh, this rare artifact indicates mastery of the first chamber. A perf apo apocryphal, apocryphal text recovered from the cultist of the order indicate the gun and the bullet are somehow linked. Oh my god, who would have thought? Who would have thought? I, I would have never. Holy my moly. Holy baboli bajiboli. That is crazy. The bullet and the gun are linked? No, not possible. Hmm. It's not possible. Not possible. We'll wait here. There we go. Whoop. Hey there, I started fixing this thing, but I'm, I'm gonna need some parts to get it working. These bullet elevators leave a lot of DBEs in their wake. I need to clear some out, uh, some out of the way. To do it, I need three blanks. Whoa, that's... That, uh, master round exactly what I need is need the power. Can I have it? Here. Wow, thank you. That must have been very hard to get. I'll go install it. Oh, it took a... It gave us an armor instead, but... I need three blanks if you're gonna find something to bring in here. What? I'm guessing the master round will work, and I'll just have it done. If not, I got chinsed. What a dodge. Oh, what pro, pro level jukes, I must say, Bob. Just, just, just phenomenal, Bob. Phenomenal. Oh, it does damage. It killed him. Noted. What, what the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> the way it comes out is so weird. That is sick. This weapon's gonna be good. Wow. All right, I'm gonna use this for wave clear now, since we have the uh, uh, vertebrae 47. Ooh, a key. Always useful. Hopefully, we get some ammo drops soon. Oh, that's a shotgun. Oh. You got plenty of money right now? I hate this thing. So that can stop it. Nope. Oh man, that was scary. We lost a lot of health there. The shop. Only the shopkeeper knows. What if we get mad at the... Litchy trigger finger. Can we get this still? Yeah, we can. Uh, rate of fire up. The finger bone of an ancient lich who is skilled in the art of gunplay. Unfortunately, this finger bone is not the lich's. <laughs> Alright. Well... Oh, what the heck? Okay then. Well, we'll be looking for a selkie then. 
Oh, he doesn't get mad. Alright, thank you, shopkeeper. Oh, god damn it, man. There's the boss. We'll pop back here. Where's that cell key? Oh my god! Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Cutting it really close. What the heck? Oh, okay. Nothing important. Weird. Got plenty of keys. What the heck? Shotgun full of love. Kill with kindness. What does this weapon do? Deals damage and potentially charms enemies. Preferred weapon of Hespera, the pride of Venus. Beloved gun engineer. Uh, Alright. I wish I didn't give up that extra heart, man feels bad. It's so funny. Oh my god. It's a pretty good weapon though, all things considered. I'll be using it for a bit. Uh, so that's done. done. We still have two blanks, as long as we use those fairly well. It shoots pretty fast too. Commit seppuku. That's a K. <laughs> Armor every floor. What? This grieves the night of grieves of the aimless knight Cormorant. The aimless knight approached the gungeon as a challenge, born more out of curiosity than regret. Despite his skill, his rendered this rendered his failure inevitable. <laughs> wow, that's that's really good armor. All right, uh, we got nothing left. We didn't get a cell key, which is surprising. I thought we would. Uh, you got nothing for me, but a blank will do. I'm gonna go give these because I feel like I'm just gonna die anyways to this guy. Just to make like 100% sure. I see you have to, can I have them for the elevator? Yeah. Thanks. I'll get the blasting and clear the way, but I'll need some replacement parts. Can you bring me 100? What? Excuse me? That's stupid. Th that better save, or I'm gonna be like salt, Meister Jones. Uh. Gore gun. What do we got here? Oh yeah, this. Oh yeah, armor.
No, no, I pressed the wrong button! Ugh. Well, I'll do it this time. <sighs> Thank you all for watching. Uh, as usual, hope you have a good day. Um, if you want to see more of my content, subscribe, you know, do that. Uh, on the regular, anyways. I do try to keep at least two videos going a day. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Up to you. Uh, back to my uh, outro. You know, closer. Uh, hope you all have a good day. Bye.